This is Man Rise Up. This is a movement, a call to action, but it addresses a serious situation. Realize that there's lives on the line, generations at stake, if we're not willing to have this collective conversation. You see, there's seven laws of principles designed to give you strength in areas where we normally lack. It is a transformational journey, but it positions us correctly, unselfishly given by Dr. Ed Womack. You see, we were created in his image with a powerful purpose. If we could just take off the disguise to create a better future for the next generation to achieve that goal, man must rise. This is Man Rise Up. What I want to impress upon everybody that's sitting here today, life is not always fair. On occasion, you may find that you are putting in your absolute best. You may find that the person sitting next to you barely comes to work. You may find that you are just as diligent as humanly possible in your life, in your work, in your play. And the results that you're seeking may not necessarily play out the way that you expect them to. But here's what I come to understand, that you can't allow the circumstances, the situations, or the people around you to dictate what you're going to do. Because see, if you want to be a true leader, if you want to rise up, you have to get beyond the fact that life is not fair because everything is not fair. Life is a game. And there's occasions I'm going to step out on a skinny branch and say you've watched your favorite basketball, football, or baseball team, and there was a bogus call. Does the game stop? I mean, you, you tell me, when a bogus call comes in, when a ref just totally blows it, does the game stop? Absolutely not. The game keeps moving. And that's just how your life has got to play out. When you run into a situation where you felt you've been dealt a raw deal, when you run into a situation where you believe that the calls are not going your way, you got to keep it moving. And I'm reminded of a saying by one of my surrogate mentors, Dr. Martin Luther King. He says, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, just keep moving. And although you realize or encounter those situations where life may not appear to be fair, you just got to keep it moving. You got to keep on walking. And here's what I come to understand. And this is one thing that I embrace. I changed. <laughs> I changed. And so can you. You know, a really good friend of mine and another awesome speaker, he puts it like this. If I can change, if I can turn my life around, if I can fall and I can get back up, so can you. And that was James Edwards, the most valuable motivator who says that, who happens to be a personal friend of mine who was facing uh, life in prison as a drug dealer, who today is motivating the masses, is a personal mentor of mine. We talk all the time. And the reason I love James because his spirit is so powerful. And his spirit is such that it drives and it encourages others. And that's exactly what I want to impress upon you today. If I can change, <laughs> so can you. I'm totally sure of it. I am 100% convinced that if I can change, so can you.